in Guadalcanal. With Halsey. You were with Halsey? Yeah, he was, I was in his fleet. This is Gene Shedler. I'm just started in another segment. Okay, I was, I was with Halsey uh, to the Guadalcanal campaigns, and then when we lost a ship, we went back and got 30 days survivor's leave. When we were on survivor's leave, Halsey was back in a hospital with shingles. That's right. So the time he got out of the hospital, we had another destroyer, the, the Tenji, and we went out and joined him in the, in the third fleet. We stayed with him till the war ended. We were one of the new 2100 tin cans that could really move, and we was screening for the aircraft carriers. That's uh, the Tenji. Were you with Halsey when uh, the Battle of the Philippine Sea then? Yeah, when he screwed up. And, took and you went with him north? Yeah, we went at flank speed up there to get those aircraft carriers. And turned out, did you get them? We got the aircraft carriers, but Nimitz wanted to know where the hell he was. He said, he goes, the battle's down there. Huh? So he makes a U turn and we haul ass back in time to get in a little of the action. I can tell you just a, a little a little aside on that story that I, I've heard from up in Sparta where I live. When you were up there with Halsey and you ran north against that uh, decoy fleet and you took out the carriers, he launched a bunch of the aircraft late at night to go up and try to blow them out of the water. And there's a fellow in Sparta that was in one of those planes. He went up there and he, they... They let all their bombs go, and then he wanted to get back to his fleet. So they began looking. He saw a wake, figured it might be his ship, so he went down to it. He landed on this sucker. It was a Japanese carrier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And he said it, just as he was landing, they were starting to shoot at him, and he, and he just gunned the engine, and he got the heck out of Dodge. I guess. And the guy behind him, his wingman, actually got shot down. Oh, Jesus. And it was dark, or near dark, and he was now trying to get back to his ship. He had very little fuel left, and he began to make some wide turns to try to recover, find his ship. And he, by the time he did find it, he was landed on just air. Had no gas. Lucky guy. His name was Fletcher. Later, he invented the hovercraft. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Fletcher and did. Fletcher he invented it. There was a tin can named after him too. Well, different, it. different Fletcher. Different Fletcher. That was an Admiral Fletcher. This oh. this guy was just a pilot, oh. and uh, but he's been an interesting character, having done that and invented a few other things. But uh, he lives up there where I I live in New Jersey. I'll be dead. So he was with you, but there you were, chasing Halsey all over the place. Yeah, yeah damn bet you. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> well, I'm supposed to have one more, and I didn't have any room for it. <laughs> that's um, that's we're talking th uh, 30, 32 years on there. Thirty-two. You're supposed to have 30, 36. Well, it'll be 30, 34. 34. And this right here, you ended up somehow, you ended up with the CBs, and this is... I, I asked to be changed from a radio into a CB after the Korean War. Yeah. Got tired of copying code. And so. they said they, 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 they didn't even want to put the request in because they said it's a waste of time. And I told the chief yeoman, just put the damn thing in and don't be worried about it. Let me straighten out your hat. I'm getting a little bit. There you go. Just okay. <laughs> I always wear my hat. Looks like a drunken sight. <laughs> like that a... pisses them off. Too. Oh, you like that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And she squared that hat up. Like, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so you ended up a CB, and you ended up actually in Vietnam at, at some point. No, I didn't go to Vietnam. I recruited CBs for damn near seven years. And I've spoke most of them at Lambert Fields in St. Louis, recruiting CBs. I'll be darned. Let me shoot your medals here. And you don't even have, okay. Look at that stuff. I can't even name what all those things are. Hell, I probably can't anymore. <laughs> I had them on there for so damn long. Oh, I know there's no good conduct medal now. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe your next life. 